Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Otto. And I am back in my Pathfinder Kingmaker campaign. Yay! Hmm. Last time we stopped in the um, lower floor of the uh, Dwarven Fortress. There are two... Um, there are two entrances to this part. Um, the one on the left is totally closed. We went down here and there are three or two doors and they are closed and we need a lock. We need a key. We can't lock pick the doors. So, yeah. So we came here on to the other side where we have the keys, hopefully. Let's see. Let's move into this direction. <laughs> Why not? Yes, let's do it the hard way. Ekendayo, kill. Cobalt blade, cobalt blade, what's that word? Cobalt archer. Can you hit that guy? Hmm, yes. Okay, um... Ooh, a critical hit, yay! Let's move back a bit. View. Dog. Can you just kill this guy? Yes, you can. That's good, that's a good dog. Lot of cobalt, but they are killed easily. Mm -hmm. A level two fighter. Yeah, that's that's rather easy. Ooh, there's a spellcaster. Mm -hmm. Miri kill. Mm -hmm. Can you attack this guy? Nice hit. Hmm. Thirteen damage. That's not nice. Okay. Hmm. Let's give the crew a bless. <laughs> Come on. You could Yeah, well, we don't hit because we... Uh... 
Really? Oh, but on the other hand, it's very hard to hit. Yeah. Although he's a, only a level 4 fighter. Let's ungo them. Let's just say we'll move inside and hit this guy so we are not in the way. Harim. Hey! One's really hard to hit. Well, he was hard to hit. Mm. That's so weak. I really don't need. I really don't think I need. Can you charge there? Yes, you can. That. Really? Are these the cobalts that we found? Oh, master work, we'll take this. Ooh, master word sword, short sword. Nice. Ooh, an unidentified belt. A lot of money, or at least some money. Okay, we have here, look, Rune of the Langbuck clan. Their whole clan must have perished many years ago. Now we know the place where their path ended. That Grutus wrapped them up in his eternal emptiness. <laughs> Yay. Harem is really great. Where the path ended. I don't see a mountain of skulls below this rune. Some historians have lost their almost for such rash conclusions and sweeping generalizations. <laughs> Do you know anything about this clan? Knowledge world will check past. Far as I have heard, there is a big dwarven clan, the Langbuck, somewhere in Druma. I guess they own some sort of trade caravan business. They even own a store in Restov, supposedly. So they didn't perish yet. After all, what a shame. Harim lets out a discontent sigh. He's so, so often um, wrong with everything. Anyway. Every living creature is bound to die. Yeah, that's true. Why does this rune shine? Dwarves like to mark the walls of their fortresses and caves. They use their clan rules, rune, 
for this purpose. Okay, so this is the Langbok rune, the fish. <clears throat> they use their clan rune for this purpose. Usually they enchant this rune to spread light so the dwarves can proudly observe it even in the total darkness. Harim examines the rune one more time. Where is all your pride now, O oh Langbok clan? <laughs> In a trade caravan. Dwarfs have long, long lives. When my father was still young, he saw the Langbuck's exodus from Five Kings Mountains. They were heading to the North Hole City, had to the North Hole City had gathered, went then to wave goodbye to them. No one ever saw them again. Now I know what horrible fate befell over their poor souls. Yeah, yeah, so sad. So. <laughs> okay, um, no, yeah. Let's just see. Okay, there is something. Ooh, another dwarven cap. I hope I find all of the helm shots because the helmet is really great. That would be out of that. Yeah, whatever. It's much too heavy. Even if it's 50 gold worth. So this was the Langbach Hall, probably. Now it's uh, Kobold's Hall. Let's move further on. Ooh. I found something. Ooh, treasures. Kobolds are so stupid, they don't see the treasures. Right crossbow. Nice. It's a shock light crossbow plus one. So it deals electric damage. Mm hmm. Let's see. We have a few people who use light crossbows, like myself. This makes just a lot more damage. So you are also using a light. No, you are using a heavy crossbow. Okay. Ooh, it's a trap. Come on, disarm it. Okay. We rolled a three. We need a six. Okay. Let's do a quick save. <laughs> okay, moving on. I think I can remember there were a lot of traps here. Not sure about that, but we'll have to get carefully. Something hidden. This is the reason why we need a lot of people having um Having what's called perception. Ah, oh, come on, move faster. This game. I think there are some traps that are really, really deadly here. Oh, 
Oh, another troll. Nice troll. Let's see. Um, we still have the bless. So um, you attack. You attack. You attack. You attack. Mm -hmm. Nah, we don't reach them. Um, yeah, then, no, ah, oh. <clears throat> okay, let's just, hmm, the trolls won't come to us, will they come to us, that's interesting, of course they will come to us, but, um, Yeah, let's delete after these three guys and you just kill this troll. That's easy. You also delay behind the trolls. And you also delay behind the trolls. Let them come to us. Ah, hmm. <sighs> yeah, okay. What's here? Just stay there. They will come. I'm pretty sure about that. Oh, come on. You must be joking. Let's see. Does this any damage to him? Nope. No damage. Really, really don't like that. <laughs> Fell down. Dead boomstick, yeah. More troll, yay. And he's killing a Miri now. Hmm. 
Tito. So, Chubidost, you are killing the two. Well, you're killing this one. And the next one is. <laughs> Critical hit. We are such monsters. Dead. Oh, come on. What's that? All of resist cold and the goods will. Okay, um, this point, let's move together and let's just do one healing for a soul. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So, left or right? Right, because um, I think this is the passage. That's not important. Oh, I see a lot of spiders. Okay, you attack the spider from behind. You attack this spider from behind. You attack this spider from behind. You move there. You move here. Dog, you move here. A lot of spiders. Really? What's that? A deaf shaman. Ugh. Doesn't sound nice, if you ask me. Okay.
dog kill this either. Oh no. Um let's just say we are doing protection from evil. This will help us. Mm -hmm. Not so easy to get in there. Miri. Yeah, this is uh, for you, my dear. Can you just attack that? Okay, just move move outside. And then just do a quick again. And then and let's just stop for today. Let's see if we are able to not trigger this threat. You are the best I know. Spiders don't have anything with them. Probably you've got something. Ooh, you've got a key. Nice. Okay, let's see. Ooh, a chain mail. Hey, Harim, you wear chain mail, don't you? Heart of weather. Let's see if this chain mail is better. Chain mail plus two. Well, no, it has the same armor class, but it has a higher armor check penalty, arcane spell failure, and then the worst max dexterity. Also, it doesn't give us plus two moral bonus on saves. So it's good, but not as good as the one we use. Anyone else who's using chain mail, you could use chain mail. Hmm. It's other than the hide armor plus three you already have. But max dexterity is just two. Oh, you have plus two dexterity, so it's okay. If you took this. Okay, we also have found this thing. This gives plus two to constitution and this gives plus two to it's just someone who doesn't have any of these. Yeah. And the dexterity. And Harim, you get the constitution. Oh to strength and constitution, yay! That's even better. He 
you only have strength. Take one of those bounces, Namiri. You're more important than Harim. Okay, my dear friend, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see each other again soon. Until then, wish you a good night, sleep well, bye.